Ryan, we've also got retail sales. They're coming out on Friday. So that's going to give us the real window into the consumer. Economists are expecting consumer spending to be up uh, eight tenths of a percent uh, for the month over month number yeah. and uh, up six tenths of a percent when you take out autos. Uh, what are you thinking about the consumer right now? Uh, we know that the consumer has been cutting into their savings to, to pay for this inflation. Do you think yeah. we're still going to see a strong consumer? I do. I mean, I think that's a remarkable number, considering the fact we have high inflation. If you look at consumer yeah. sentiment, it stinks. Uh, everyone's feeling the pain, no pun intended, my last name, um, of what we've seen right now in terms of costs going up. But the one thing I keep going to uh, is this labor market is just so hot. Um, you look at that JOLTS report last week, 11.2 million job availability, and you only have like 5.9 million people looking. So even if the job market weakens a little bit, like, even if a week, you're still going to have a couple million, uh, you know, jobs ab above and beyond what can be filled. So I think the fact that, yeah. the, that you know, workers still have a lot of power uh, in terms of their, their career and wages going up, I call it the great equilibrium. In fact, I'm going to talk about this in my podcast this week, Pain Points of Wealth, the greatest one in the country. Um, and that's just essentially that you're going to start to see inflation come down. Dennis just said it. And I agree that the administration is actually doing what they intended to do with bringing inflation down. I don't like to agree with the administration as well. But if it comes down and wages stay strong, we might actually get that soft landing. And I think it's realistic. I mean, all this talk about recession, if it's news, it's not news. We all know it. We're all talking about it. It's already priced into the market. So and markets look forward. So I think we have to start thinking about here is that recovery is going to come. And if the consumer stays strong, I think they will. Yeah. Um, that bodes very, very well for markets. And it bodes well for uh, not really having a severe recession if we have one at all. All right. We'll see. Uh, we, we will see if we are, in fact, in a recession right now.